In this video, we'll look at how to install Teleport on macOS. And more specifically, we'll be looking at installing the TSH and Teleport Connect user clients. If you want to follow along, you can go to goteleport.com slash docs slash installation. First, let's scroll down to operating system support. So we see here that macOS is compatible with all Teleport tools, from the Teleport service itself, to the tcuttle admin tool, the TSH and Teleport Connect user clients, and TBOT, which is a CLI tool used with Machine ID that programmatically issues and renews shortlist certificates to any service account. But like I said, in this video, we're gonna focus specifically on installing TSH and Teleport Connect. Let's look at TSH first. To install TSH on macOS, let's scroll down to that section of the page, and we'll select our Teleport Edition. For me, that's open source. And you have two options here. You have the installer and you have Homebrew. So the Teleport package in Homebrew is not maintained by Teleport and we can't guarantee its reliability or security. So my suggestion is to stick with the installer. And you can download one of the following package installers here. So the first one installs all of the binaries that we mentioned above, and the second one, just TSH. And these include universal binaries that support Intel processors and Apple Silicon. Now, another difference here between the two is that this TSH only package is the only one currently signed and notarized by Apple and will support Touch ID and Device Trust. Touch ID and Device Trust functionality both make use of your Mac's secure enclave, which requires a signed binary. So if you're having issues getting either of these to work with TSH in your terminal, you need to come here and download this TSH only version. So I have Teleport running on a Linux server and I don't need Tcuttle or Tbot. So let's go with this TSH only package. And to download it, I'm just gonna click on this package to do so. And once that's complete, I'll install it. So continue, continue, install. And this TSH only package has been installed. I'm gonna move it to the trash. And if your install was successful, you should be able to run TSH and get the following output. Now TSH is a CLI client that allows end users to authenticate to teleport, access the resources in a teleport cluster, and perform a handful of operations like file transfers, access requests, MFA management, etc. And we can see here a number of things. So with TSH, we can SSH, we can manage applications and databases, we can create local proxies, we can manage access requests, Kubernetes clusters, multi-factor authentication, and more. But the first thing you really wanna do when you download TSH is to log into your Teleport cluster. So I have Teleport running on the public web at this address. So I'm gonna copy this. And to log in, we simply type TSH login. And then the proxy flag, I'm gonna put the address to my Teleport cluster. And then for auth, I'm gonna choose my GitHub SSO. And I'll hit enter to log in. And login successful. So here we're logged in as this user who has access to these roles. And this certificate is valid for 12 hours, which is the default and is configurable. So what can we do now? Well, let's list our Kubernetes clusters that my Teleport cluster is managing. And we can do that with TSH cube LS. And I have three clusters. Let's log into one with TSH cube login. And let's choose the mini cube dev cluster. And once you're logged in, you can run cube cuddle commands as normal. Now, what about servers? Let's list our servers with TSH LS. There are two servers. Let's SSH into one using TSH SSH, and then the user for that server at whatever that node name is. So I'm gonna log into the second one. So I'm gonna choose that node name and hit return to initiate this SSH session. And from here, I can run my commands. And that's TSH. And obviously there's a lot more you can do with it, but for now, let's shift over to Teleport Connect. So if you go back to the documentation, scroll back up to this operating system support chart, Right under that is a link to using Teleport Connect. You can also go over here to the left, choose Connect Your Client, and using Teleport Connect. So Teleport Connect, like TSH, is a user client, but it's a graphical user interface desktop app instead. And you can use that to access your Teleport resources. So let's download and take a look at it. To download, I just come down here and choose Downloads to go to the download page. And then I'll scroll down, go to Mac OS, Make sure I choose Teleport Connect. 
and download the installer. Once it's done, I can run that, drag this over to applications, and I'll open it up. Choose open. And my first prompt is to connect to cluster. So let me grab this address again. I'll choose connect and put that in. And I get my login screen. So I'm gonna choose the GitHub SSO login. Login successful. And I get this desktop application to access my resources instead of using the terminal. So here I can see my servers. If I wanna SSH into one, I just choose connect and the user. And I have an SSH session, so ls and exit. If I wanna log into a Kubernetes cluster, I can just choose connect and I'm instantly able to run my kubectl commands. And exit. And you can also connect to your databases as well. As for the app itself, here at the top right, you have the profile selector, which allows you to switch between profiles on different teleport clusters, as well as log in and out of the clusters. Here on the left, you have the connection list, which shows recent connections, allowing you to seamlessly switch between them. So I can click on either one of these to initiate that session again. And then here in the middle, you have the search bar, which allows you to search for resources across clusters. And over here to the right, there's a drop-down menu where you can open the config file to configure Teleport Connect. So let's say I wanna make the terminal font bigger. I can do that here. Set that to 18. And all of our config properties are in the documentation. And then also in that menu, you can create a new access request or review ongoing requests. And that's Teleport Connect. So in conclusion, TSH and Teleport Connect are two user clients that you can easily install to interact with your Teleport cluster. Thanks for watching.